my dear brothers and sisters i thank the lord for this wonderful time that he has given to us to meditate the scriptures today we are going to meditate on the title a chosen vessel a chosen vessel in the acts of the apostles in the new testament in the ninth chapter the lord speaks to ananias a man who was a very prayerful man the lord speaks to him and gives him an instruction in the 15th verse he says go for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before gentiles kings and the children of israel my dear brothers and sisters when ananias was in prayer the lord met him appeared to him and spoke certain things that ananias couldn't agree with ananias asked the lord lord the person whom you are sending me to is a very dangerous man he is a man who is killing the children of god in jerusalem and now he is coming to damascus how is it right for me to go and meet with this dangerous man an enemy of the gospel and the lord's reply was shocking the lord replied to him saying go on anias for saul the person whom you are calling as the dangerous man is a chosen ve- chosen vessel of mine he is a chosen vessel of mine my dear brothers and sisters sometimes god's choices are different to what our choices are sometimes we are not able to agree with god's choices in our lives god knows the end from its beginning which we are unaware of the chosen vessel saul who became paul became a great apostle in the later days my dear brothers and sisters even you and i are chosen vessels of god in one of the translation it says he is a chosen instrument of god god has chosen paul to be his instrument to be his voice to be his sound to his generation and to the generations to come an instrument in the master's hand an instrument in the musician's hand is very powerful it can influence a person's heart a mind in another translation it says paul is a vessel of election god has elected him for his purposes to preach the gospel to bear god's name among the kings among the gentiles and among the children of israel in another translation it says god has deliberately chosen him for his purposes deliberately i believe you know the understand of being deliberate god has knowingly and purposefully chosen this man paul my dear brothers and sisters there is always a purpose in 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 god's choices how privileged are we my dear brothers and sisters to be chosen deliberately by god for his purposes for his kingdom purposes my dear brothers and sisters today we are going to meditate upon certain privileges that god gives to his chosen vessels in the first book of the bible the book of genesis there's a man called Jacob one of our forefathers Jacob was a man who was cheated by his own uncle by his wife's father in his wages in his salaries he was almost held captive in his hands for years together and when he asked Laban it's time for me to go he was not willing to let him go when he 
addressed his when he brought out his grievances to him Laban became a person who was cheating Jacob in all manners and one day Jacob decided it's better that I leave this place it's better that I leave with my wife and my children and the livestock that God has blessed me with and the servants that God has blessed me with and he amicably wants to leave his uncle Laban and he leaves one day but my dear brothers and sisters this chosen vessel who who even wants to leave his his uncle peacefully he is being is being uh, chased by his uncle and on the night before laban his uncle meets with jacob the bible says the lord rebuked laban in genesis chapter 31 verse 40 42 says unless the god of my father the god of abraham and the fear of isaac had been with me surely now you would have sent me away empty handed god has seen my affliction and the labor of my hands and rebuked you last night laban god rebuked you last night laban my dear brothers and sisters if you are a chosen vessel of god if you are a chosen instrument of god if you are deliberately chosen by god himself one thing is assured that your enemy will be rebuked by the lord that the enemy who chases you from behind who comes behind you who wants him you to be his servant his slave will be rebuked by the lord my dear brothers and sisters may god rebuke your enemies today even before they reach you even before satan reaches you let him be rebuked today may your blessings be protected laban couldn't hold take hold of jacob's blessings my dear brothers and sisters because he was blessed by god and rebuked Re- laban was rebuked by the lord may uh, may the covenant be remembered by the lord if you are a chosen vessel the covenant that you make with god the promises that that are between you and god will be remembered always remember always may god be glorified in you my dear brothers and sisters even jacob when he was blessed by his father isaac in genesis chapter 27 verse 29 it says may many nations become your servants and may they bow down to you the lord remembers his covenants the lord remembers the covenant that he made with abraham the lord remembers the covenant that he has made with isaac and he remembers when he blesses jacob that nations have to be blessed by him and may they bow down to him that a shepherd man a J- jacob was not a warrior he was not a king he was not a person to be feared of but a shepherd man will produce nations will produce kings the shepherd boy will will be a man where nations will bow down to him even when jacob's son joseph was raised up as the prime minister under pharaoh the bible says that a pharaoh bowed down before jacob my dear brothers and sisters the word of god the blessings of the lord when god makes a covenant with a man when god visits a man he is blessed in his spirit he is blessed in his soul in such a way that all human authority will start bowing down before him that is the power and the authority that a man receives when he is blessed by god when he makes a covenant with god when he is a chosen vessel of god even when we started meditating this i spoke to you about paul why was he chosen why was he called by god so that he will preach god's word and bear his name before kings 
before the rulers of this earth before highest authorities on earth during his time heard the word of god through this man every city every town they felt paul's ministry when he entered those places he brought revival wherever he went even if it is the town center wherever he goes he preaches the gospel performs god's miracle signs and wonders in front of the gentiles before the greek before before the romans and people were astonished and amazed by the ministry of paul why because god gave him the authority to stand before authorities and preach the word of god with great command my dear brothers and sisters when you are chosen there is a supernatural command and authority that you can possess that you receive from god my dear brothers and sisters i can see two types of people in christendom like the sons of isaac esau and jacob there are two types of christians there are two types of god's people one is a person who doesn't have any interest who has no interest in god's covenant blessings that is esau the type of people who have no spiritual interest name say christians their choices in their lives will reflect who they are esau's choices were unclean the bible says he chose which are not clean before god's eyes he chose people from idol worship to be his wives he chose a wife from from those who are who do not love the jehovah god even though he was the grandson of abraham a man, man who made covenant with god still he saw chose the unclean things of this world some people do not value the spiritual blessings that god can give you even though they are called christians they do not have any interest in, in christ or on the word of god or about the spirit of god they are a distracted people who have lost their love for god in all the generations you can see such type of people who are name sake or who rebel against god's plans against the god against god's words that is one type of people my dear brothers and sisters that is another group of people the bible says that is the type of jacobs who desire the spiritual blessings even though jacob was a flawed human being even though in his days he was called as a cheat in the beginning days of his life he was a flawed human being but still he had spiritual desires he sought to the blessings of isaac he wanted to continue with the lineage of abraham and the spiritual blessings that has to continue on this earth he was not careless about his choices he didn't make himself unclean by mingling with the idol worshipers and marrying people from other faith my dear brothers there were temptations there should have been lot of temptations for jacob in his youth but still he protected himself my dear brothers and sisters he was not driven by the human emotions and human urges that comes into our comes into us but he was spirit led he sought the blessings of abraham he sought the blessings of isaac and when the time came that there was a threat in his own family for his life he left his father's place on the way he met with the lord in a dream god appeared to him and he established the covenant that he made with abraham and isaac he spoke god spoke great things great spiritual things to to to, the, to this nomadic man jacob and you know after the dream he woke up and he said surely god lives here this is the house of god this is bethel and he anointed the rock on which he laid his head on that night 
and he anointed it, it with oil and made it a remembrance he valued spiritual experiences whereas his own brother he saw never bothered about spiritual blessings or spiritual experiences my dear brothers and sisters there are still two types of people in christendom even in these days those who value spiritual blessings and those who do not value spiritual blessings what type you are is a question that comes to you today even though you are a flawed human being you can be valued by god if you will value the spiritual blessings that god can give you if you will value the word of god the scriptures the bible if you value the holy spirit and his anointing god will lift you up high god will establish a covenant with you like he established a covenant with jacob in those days even though both were flawed human beings one valued god's blessings in his life god's covenant in his life and his name is still remembered across the earth he was promised jacob was promised on his way to meet his uncle that he will return to bethel and one day came that god brought him back to the same place of god's visitation my dear brothers and sisters it's very very important for us to remember these things these are basics but very important very critical and has eternal impact in your life my dear brothers and sisters those who value god and those who do not value god those who value the scriptures and those who do not value the scriptures those who value the anointing of the holy spirit and those who do not value the anointing of the holy spirit in their lives in genesis chapter 35 verse 9 to 13 god appeared to jacob when J- jacob was returning to bethel he returned to, from padan aram and god appeared to him again at bethel god blessed him god blessed him saying your name is jacob but you will not be called jacob any longer from now on from now on from now on jacob your name will be israel god changes a person's name in his old age when he had wives when he had children when he had servants when half, more than half of his life is already lived up still god changes a person's name god can visit and change you at any point of your time my dear brothers and sisters you are not too old to be saved you are not too old to make a covenant with jesus you can still be changed from jacob to israel you can still be changed from a flawed human being to be a spiritual human being from now on your name will be israel so god renamed him israel my dear brothers and sisters still the name of israel is established across the earth is there any day that you do not watch or hear about israel in the news my dear brothers and sisters then god said to this shepherd man a shepherd he was not speaking this to a very high high authority on earth no he was not speaking this words to a king no he was speaking this to a shepherd saying i am el shaddai god almighty i am el shaddai god almighty be fruitful and multiply you shepherd man you shepherd i want you to f- be fruitful and multiply before others you will become a great nation a shepherd will become a great nation even many nations not just one nation but many nations will come out of you kings will be among you your descendants what a great blessings what a great blessing that a shepherd cannot withhold the shepherd couldn't withhold couldn't stand up for these blessings but he was still blessed god introduced himself as el shaddai the god almighty he was not speaking this to the neighborhood kings but he was speaking this to a shepherd why 
because this man was a spiritual man he valued god's blessings in his life he communicated with god always he remembered god's covenant with with his forefathers abraham and isaac and he believed and he he claimed the promises of god upon them and upon his life and he obeyed god and returned back to bethel and in bethel god renamed him as israel and he spoke to him these wonderful words my dear brothers and sisters these wonderful words will come true and it has come true from jacob the nations were brought forth the nations that you see now in the middle east in europe they are all the descendants of this man jacob what a wonderful god that we serve and also in the same verse in genesis chapter in the same chapter genesis chapter 35 there is one beautiful verse that i would like to um quote because that that aligns with one of the points that i mentioned before then god said to jacob in the first verse arise go up to bethel and dwell there and make an altar there to god who appeared to you when you fled from the face of esau your brother and jacob said to his household and to all who were with him put away the foreign gods that are among you clean clean yourself purify yourselves and change your garments before god because god is going to bless us in bethel and when they were traveling jacob his wife his children and the servants and the flocks the the sheep when they were traveling to bethel there's a beautiful verse the fifth verse it says and they journeyed and the terror of god was upon the cities that were all around them and they did not pursue the sons of jacob my dear brothers and sisters in those days traveling in the desert for a shepherd and his flock is very difficult because the neighboring kings and rulers were barbaric and they will kill these people when they see women when they see the sheep when they see small children they will come and bring terror over those people but what did god do for this shepherd because this man was a spiritual man who was in covenant with god who was walking before god who was obeying god the bible says in the fifth verse the terror of god was upon the cities through which he was traveling the terror the god's fear will come upon those who are around you when you are going to fulfill god's purposes in your life you need not be afraid about your enemies you need not be afraid about the evil spirits sir. because god will send a terror against them because god has chosen you for his purposes you are god's instrument the musician has taken his instrument for a song to be sung for a music to be displayed before people and my dear brothers and sisters God has chosen you as his vessel as his instrument for his purposes he has deliberately chosen you for his purposes so fear not today take up the courage according to the scriptures a flawed human being like jacob can be chosen a flawed human being like paul can be chosen a pharisee called paul can be chosen for god's great purposes an apostolic ministry why not you why not me my dear brothers and sisters may god give you the courage to to understand and accept god's calling in your life you are a chosen vessel you are precious in the sight of god do not be afraid do not be dismayed do not be afraid about the things that are around you god will send a terror against your enemies against the evil spirits that come against you and god will help you in this journey to fulfill god's purposes may the lord bless you my dear brothers and sisters in jesus name i pray amen